Hi everyone, I want to thank you again for another uh, great week of discussions. Uh, I just finished grading your, your discussions from the eyes in the back of their head week. Uh, I hope to have your, your discussions for this previous week uh, graded soon as well. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the, the final paper. Uh, so the final is due on June 3rd, the final day of the class. The discussion for this week needs to be completed by June 1st, so you have enough time to respond to your peers on that discussion. I also, uh, in thinking about the content of the, the final paper, I want you to use the work you've been doing in the discussions to write about an ethical educator. So the prompts associated with this paper roughly correlate with the weekly theme of the discussions. So there's thinking about relationships with students, and families and other educators, and then your relationship with the content. And then there's thinking about uh, disciplinary practices and then there is thinking about thinking about dilemmas. So thinking about ways uh, to solve solve dilemmas and you know, you've read about a lot of dilemmas, like what do you expect to encounter in the classroom? And then um, I also wanted to remind you about the definition of a dilemma. So in my discussion post for the eyes in the back of the head case, I wrote about the difference between something that is difficult and a dilemma. And uh, so I saw that like there was some confusion that maybe we were using those kind of concepts synonymously, but they're not exactly synonymous. Something that is difficult could just be a hard thing to do, like getting a college degree. But getting a college degree is not necessarily a dilemma unless there are valuable things besides money you feel you have to give up in order to get the degree. So a dilemma nearly always involves a conflict between two important values. That's why I ask you to identify the values involved in each of the cases. If that helps you zero in on what the dilemma is, is in the case. And then I kind of want to talk about the the ethical educator paper asks you to come up with like general strategies to solve ethical dilemmas. So how can you create a plan for dealing with potential dilemmas that you're going to encounter as an educator? So I encourage you to think about some of the philosophy of philosophers we read, we read some of their commentaries. So people like uh, Brian Warnick, who, who teaches here, he has a good um, kind of kind of criterion for, for solving the limit some dilemmas. Um, I think that we've read commentaries by Winston Thompson, uh, who's another uh, professor who, who teaches here, and he has uh, a system for, for solving dilemmas. Uh, I've also mentioned Nell Nodding's and Ethic of Care. So the Ethic of Care would be a like a meta um, meta ethical way of thinking about some of these commentaries or some of these cases. Uh, but you might also think about Brighouse and co-authors educational goods paper. Uh, do they provide a strategy for coming to decisions and dilemmas? And you might think about that. Uh, and then, of course, I want you to be thinking about. Uh, some of the dilemmas that you think you're going to encounter in the classroom and how you might solve those. So the goal is that these like general strategies are going to be helpful as you apply it to particular cases. So if you have questions about any of that, definitely email me at smith.7000 at buckeyemail.osu.edu. Uh, and I think that that's everything I have for you this week. I This is the last video I'll be doing. So uh, I am thankful for all of your participation in this short course. And I hope you have a great rest of your summer and a great, uh, a great career in, in um, the program. So thanks for, for being attentive and I uh, look forward to grading your work. Thanks so much.